Well, I don't think there's much in the way of options for this one. Music sound controls for the keyboard. Wait, do I have? Oh, these are cute! How do I. Oh! <laughs> okay, but how do I go back? I can't. That's scuffy. Okay. That's cute. Original soundtrack. Oh, that's cool! Oh, this is so cool. Let's keep that down a bit there. Let's see if I can. Because generally I talk so quiet, music ends up overpowering everything. Okay. Well then. Let's jump in. I've never played this before, but I've had it on my wish list for a while because it looks pretty cool. No auto saves. Oh no. How will we ever survive? Oh, I have to click. Okay, my bad. This is so full of people. And my tie is just too tight. I've never worn one before. Alright, oh, Big City really will eat me alive. And this letter. Job offer. What if everything was a joke? A scam? But, maybe it's real. I feel like that all the time. If this letter is real... This would be... My first job. Dude, is that he in the corner? Well, I finally arrived. I hope I'm not at the wrong place. I should walk around here. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone. Just E. What is that? Is that B in the corner? Hi, excuse me. The administration of an ordered branch's functional task is directly proportional to the product received from its contractual relationship to net profit. Oh, you're going to sit in front of me now. Oh, come on, bunny. Just sit down. You can sit in there. You can sit there. Come on. You've got to just hog the screen. That's okay. It's in the rubbish bin. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, I don't see anything useful here. Well, all right. Then. It's a pamphlet. It reads security, stability, fair salary, and ultimately, your welfare are our priorities. Centricorp provides Class A citizenship to all of our, our employees. We spent half a century at the top working for you. Class A is a dream for someone like me. The pamphlet it reads, every year Centricorp provides aid to millions of people in underdeveloped sectors via social work. Remember, there can be no growth without sustainability. Is that ashtray in the middle? Looks like it. It's a booklet. It says, 
Are you at the top of your class? Start your working life at the best company in the world with one of our deluxe international scholarships. Really, I wonder if I can press spacebar to move to the next. There's nothing interesting here. Oh, I can, yes, spacebar does the trick. Hello, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian, Mr. Chapman. If you don't mind, would you call me by my last name, Chapman? You know how big companies are with their formalities. Oh, excuse me, you should call me Pastanak. Pastanak, then. Nice to meet you, Pastanak. Looking at you, I think I could assume it's also your first day at work. Let's stay calm. It's normal to be a bit nervous. Yes, I'm here because I got a letter. So, sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are you wearing? Uh, the suit? No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? Oh, then, I have no idea. Target. <laughs> I apologize for my bad manners. And tarot cash. <laughs> For my bad manners, but that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Mm, I think <laughs> I think my mother got it for me at a supermarket. Supermarket? Excuse me, but what class are you? I am class G, and you? Oop. Get away from me, vermin! How dare you talk to me, class G scum! But ow! 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 Get out! Go! Ah! I'm sorry for. Shut up! What brings a, a. a piece of shit like you to a company like this? Do you know where you are? Do you? Uh, this is the original Centricor headquarters. The mythical named legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. Oh, yes. I haven't finished yet. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people at the international level. Students from the most prestigious universities are rejected by the handful for not making the grade. Candidates of proven experience fight for a... No. Hmm. Hmm. Calm down, Chapman. I'll keep talking to you. Get out of here. Woo! It won't open. Can I talk to him again? Get out of my sight! Sorry. So oh, angry. Look at this place. It's so like, where are the, where are the folks who clean things? Hello, my name is Brian. Wow, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Hick. Ah, that's right, I'm sorry. I'm not used to this. Mine is Kastanek. No, 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 call me Kate. It's more natural. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, I'm G-Class. I hope you don't mind talking to me. Haha, <laughs> I guess you met that blonde guy. There's always a lot of very stuck-up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in Class E, but my father got a job here and my family was able to ascend through the ranks. How lucky! So, are you here because you got a job offer also? Yes, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams. I'm super excited. We just got a letter. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. There were thousands of candidates. I work in Disaggregated analytics, by the way. What's your specialization? Specialization? Um, let me guess. Managing redundancy. Uh, perhaps combined programs? Well... Wait, wait. Network protocol systems. Management of vertical faces. Structural data calculus. No, I, I've only finished my basic studies. Oh. Oof. 
What am I even doing here? It's impossible for a Class G to get a job at a company like this. That letter must have been someone's idea of a joke. Letter? Take a look. Brian Pashtanak, you have been selected for a role within Syntracorp staff. This job upgrades your status to the Class A category permanently? It was delivered to my house a week ago. I thought I... I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. I'm an idiot. What do you mean a mistake? You've directly secured a position at Centricorp. To me, this sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education, or... This is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. Well, that's a very sweet thing to say. Mr. Chapman, please enter the elevator. <laughs> they always call the most important people first. Understand? Of course you don't. I can see from your face how ignorant you are. You see that little light on the elevator that marks the floors? higher you go, the more appreciated you are. Ninth floor, managing directors. That's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars. It stopped on the second floor. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he wasn't too important, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Hicks, please, oh, Ms. Hicks, please enter the elevator. Oh, 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 I'm a bag of nerves, I'm a bag of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. Maybe we'll see each other later. Ah, I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for coffee. Ah, so do I. Her switch up way higher. Up to the fourth floor, she must have studied hard to get so high. Hmm, I guess I'll have to wait here until they call me. Unless that letter really was a joke. Nothing interesting here. Rooftop management. So where did he go? He went to floor 2, which was initiation. She went to floor 4, which is high. Lolly canteen. Hey, can I go to the canteen? I'm hungry, please. Rooftop management, executive garden. Right. Actually, maybe I should show that letter to the camera. I can open my briefcase with A. Ooh, what's up here? Nothing. Ooh. I have Oop. credits, accumulated money. Credits can be exchanged for goods and food. Hmm. I'd like to earn some credits. Uh, look. Job offer from Centricorp. They offer social status upgrades. You. Hello. Security camera, gentleman or or lady. I received this letter with my name, B, and it says you've given me a job. Is this some sort of prank or hello? What an idiot! Looks like I came all this way for nothing. Well then, I guess we'll just have to go. It looks like I won't be having my first job in the capital after all. But it's a long journey back then. Not calling his name. What? Okay. She 
two, three, four, five. What is going on? Six, seven, oh no. <laughs> Careful for blinking light if it's not good for you. He went to the top floor. Oh, he's better than everyone. The top floor this has to be a mistake, right? Oh, I can move now. Monsieur Crepe. Hello, happy Halloween. Playing a little scary game today. I don't know how scary it is, but it looked cool and kind of scary looking. Okay. Can't do anything else in here? Okay, let's keep going then. On the rooftop, is that blood? We had a guy in the lobby who like laughed at us because we were class G. And then he only went up to the um, third floor. And we went all the way to the top. That is definitely blood. Ooh, yucky. What's that on the table? Remote control, but it doesn't work. I'll need two batteries for it. Okay. Money aren't expensive glasses that have it in... I want to say red paint. Oh god, this guy. <laughs> red paint everywhere. <laughs> No! <laughs> Ryan, it's not paint! Wow. What is... Kill the witch. It looks like a contract. I, Brian Pasternak, declare that I accept the job offered by Sintracorp as described in the attached annexes and at which my salary will consist of 10,000 credits per day, plus bonuses for achievement and maintenance and promotion to class A. 10,000 credits a day. What the fortune? Wait, wait, wait. This could be a trick. Let me read those annexes. According to the pre-established norms of the jur jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Central Corp. By accepting the stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to labour circumstances or at the request of the Trade Union Association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favour of being promoted in social status as dictated by Resolution 1138. Uh-huh. I can't make heads or tails of this. <laughs> Should I sign the contract? What else am I supposed to... What if I say no? I have a bad feeling about this. I better not die. On the other hand, having my first job at such an important company with all these credits. Ooh. Ugh. These lights. Oh look, there's two cameras up there too. They're watching me. And I I could sit down, but better not. There are cameras everywhere. Well that's a ginormous TV screen. Wait, who's uh, these just look like regular spheres. I don't understand much about modern art. Me neither, buddy. Me neither. Different sized pyramids? Probably some artistic meaning. It's this doorway over here. There's a door, but it's locked. Wait, can I literally just... Hello, it's me again. Ah, uh, look, I've given it some thought and I've decided I'm not interested in the job. I don't know if I can go. Ha 
<laughs> yeah, that's the real horror, yeah, just reading the fine print, indeed. <laughs> uh-huh. We won't let you leave. Oh, no. That could have been a fun achievement. Oh, maybe I can. Wait, uh, wait. Oh, I have to do this. Ding, ding. Where did that take me? Straight down. Can I actually leave? Should I leave without taking the job? Sure. It's chaotic. <laughs> Ending, I'm better off at home. Leave the company without signing the contract. <laughs> I think this job just isn't for me. Did I just finish the game? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to go back and sign the contract. <laughs> what is it? The, um... What was that other game? Far Cry. That was great. Oh, I can continue? Wait, what? What is that? What is that? 1972? That's what? This is interesting. Let's load this one at 2.18pm. Oh, it's dark. Okay. I can hear my own footsteps when I move forward. I'll go to the right. Interesting. I must have to do something first. I wonder if there's something I can do in the present day save. That will then affect the past save. Okay. Um, loads all. So that's interesting. 2nd of April, 1972. Oh, it saves right before you go in. Okay, so we can just walk, head straight back up and sign the contract. What were we on, 10? All right then. Let's sign the contract. I've come all this way, I can't back out now. Everyone would think I was just a coward. I'll sign it. Sign the contract, Centrical. Oh, what just happened? You're back! Welcome back, Zing! We winning! Oh, yeah. Yes. Maybe? I don't know just happened we just signed the contract so you know bump up to class a forever now 
10,000 credits a day is pretty good. No idea what my job is, but... Yes, we are winning. 10,000 credits a day is pretty good. We're winning. What just happened? Well, I signed it. Now what? <laughs> oh no. Is that... Yes, killing the witch. This poor lad thinks it's paint. Red paint. Can I go outside? Yeah. Cool, but it's locked. Also, can I just say, oh, you probably didn't notice, the, um... There's another save file already there. But it says 1972. This is going to be such an interesting game. I'm excited. What now? You going to kill the witch? Well, let's go to floor... Oh, I think it wants us to go to floor six. No, six is off limits. Let's go to floor four and say hello to Kate. We just met her in the lobby before. A girl I met in the lobby, Kate, was supposed to have come to work on this floor. What kind of joke? What kind of joke would you possibly make about my age? I am not, definitely not that old. No, no. People. Oh, I was supposed to have come to work on this floor, but it's so dark, I can't find it without a light. I'm not even going to joke about going in there. I can't see anything. <laughs> really? You don't want to go in there? Alright then, we'll go find a light. Um, well, um, uh, that douchebag guy was on for three or two, I think. Maybe it was two. No, it must have been two. Hmm. I want to show him that I'm now class eight. Wow. That is depressing. What is going on? Somebody... Nobody wants to talk. I'm not wandering around in the dark without a light, and I'd rather not wander around here, even if I had one. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here. You got one ink cartridge. Yay! Always worth some stuff. <laughs> Um, okay, well, let's go check out the cafeteria. Mm. What are the specials? Well, I can actually, oh, this is so cute. I want, oh, no, but, oh, I'm so torn. Pizza, can I, oh, what if I do noodles on pizza? Or pizza dipped in noodles? I could dip the pizza in the noodle sauce. That sounds amazing. Mmm, coffee. Actually, let's do that. Cup of water. What was that? Coffee beans. Wait, is that? I don't have the ingredients necessary to use a coffee maker. Is that a sandwich? Oh, it was, that was a toasted sandwich? Oh. oh. I didn't even realize. It's been so long since I've had a toasted sandwich. Okay. 
Toasties. Yes, toasties, toasties, as in just like, you know. Sorry. Um, toasties as in just like, you know. You said cheese? A jaffel machine. Oh, that sounds nice. I just have a sandwich press. And I'll get like some cheese, some pizza cheese so that it's like stretchy. And some salami. And put that in there and then toast it. But it's a nifty sandwich press because I can do other things on it too. Like I could be lazy and put a steak on it. Do some tomatoes. It's got like the grill bit on the bottom. Yeah, it locks it all. <laughs> locks it all in apparently. <laughs> but it has like the liney bit thing so you get all the fancy pressed in lines. That makes sense. Ow. Makes good toasted cheese sandwiches though, you know. <laughs> That's all I wanted it for. Centricorp commercial agreement. According to the company magazine, at Centricorp, you're not an employee, you're a leader. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Me, 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 me. Oh, could you imagine? Oh, man. That would be so tasty. Looks like he's eating something, but the plate's empty. These cornflakes give you superpowers. Okay, bro. An empty box of cereal. Should I take it? Will he get mad if I take it? You got an empty cereal box. Maybe I can replace it. Healthy vending machine. 100 credits. I don't have enough money. Hungry now? Yeah, me too. I'm hungry now as well. I'm open. It's an altar. Five credits to make an offering, but it's broken. It can't be too difficult to fix. Oh, I found 30 credits in the bin! Yes! Yeah, whoever, it's like whoever invented like literally like any, like the, any kind of meal for the first time. Would have been like the coolest thing. I think it was funny that people used to think that tomatoes were poisonous. Empty. Eat. Oh, I can't draw on it. Let me draw on it. I would draw on it. I have 30 credits now. I don't have any coffee beans, so I can't use the fancy coffee machine. But, what do you vend? Candy bars. I don't have enough of that. Soda. Kaka? <laughs> 150 credits oh wow okay so if 150 credits is like a can of soft drink then 10,000 credits a day oh it doesn't really sound like that much then. 200 oh wow man I thought for sure 30 credits would be enough for a coffee 200 credits for a coffee So that's like five bucks. We didn't actually look all the way through three, so let's check that out. It's empty. What is this mess? You got you got one slice of bread. We need another slice and some cheese. Why did I just find bread? What is there bread doing on the floor? 
I'm so confused. Dick, 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 dick. Can't do anything with that. One soda. Excellent. It's very dark. I won't go in there without a light. All right, then he's not going to do that. Empty. Empty. Can't do anything with that code book? No, I cannot. Ooh. Why are there so many cameras here? Interesting. Mm. Nope, can't touch them. They won't let me. Mm. There's another door. There must be the stairwell. This place is not very fire safe. No, it's nothing. Alright, let's check out this doorway. What does this say? Over a thousand cameras are watching out for your safety. Smile. Never for the employee's safety. Security room. Open. Hmm. Alright then, six is still, or is six where I'm supposed to go? No, okay, six is off limits. I think five's where it's at. Looks like a blank page. Wait, it has a watermark. Dentrical logo. I keep it in my briefcase. But a mysterious piece of paper. Hmm. Hello. Wow. Oh. Hey, Mr. Hugo. Hello, are you the new guy? Yes, hello, my name is Brian. Uh, Pastanek. My name is Pastanek. Nice to meet you, Brian Pastanek. No, no, it's just. It's just a joke, man. I'm Hugo, your new workmate. I'm here to show you around. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, the big city can take a lot out of you. Don't worry, you're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Thank you. Now, this is the fifth floor. Here we mostly perform management tasks, work with databases, well, you know, computer stuff. There are a few offices. And a meeting room. The bathroom's in the back, and this is the reception desk. Though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. Look at that guy coming in, for example. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce you to past the... See? He didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so he can sleep. Come on, follow me. I'll show you our offices. Welcome to a new office. Right now it's a bit empty since a few of the employees are on sick leave, but... Oh, look who's come out of her lair. This is another of her co-workers, so sorry. Hi, I'm Faith Stena. <laughs> She's a bit shy at first, but once she gets started with one of her stories, there's no stopping her. Well, let's get on the tour. Over here we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office. There's not much science involved, it's just free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take years. <laughs> it's true. And here we have the cornerstone of any office, the coffee maker. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say we use a little to replenish our strength? Oh no, there's no coffee left. 
There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never, ever, ever prepares more when it's finished. Right, so, sir? <laughs> she did it! <laughs> so then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? Of course, what do I do? First, you need water and coffee powder. You should be able to find some in here somewhere. Oh, my turn. Empty. Thursa hides in there sometimes. There are lots of documents, but nothing I can use to make coffee. I don't need to make any phone calls. Photocopier, it's no use to me right now. Okay. Nothing here. We got one slice of bread. Oh, all we need now is a piece of cheese. One packet of coffee powder. Why is there coffee powder in the bin? Hugo, I'm not sure this will work. It was in the trash. It'll be fine. <laughs> Blow on it a little and it'll work perfectly. Okay, now that you've got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. Would you like to brew some coffee? Yeah. Yeah, one cup of coffee. Coffee gives you a much stronger energy boost. Than a plain cup of water. Water's only really good for showering. Well, I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? Um, what exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? I only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working. A photocopier. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You can use this to print important pieces of data like quarterly figures or web documentation. But let's face it, those are lower floor tasks, aren't they? We here on the fifth floor can instead use this wonderful device to do fun things like photocopying our asses. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, oh my god! <laughs> Dude! Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. I think I should have done it double-sided. He only got one cheek. <laughs> oh no. Come on, it's your turn. Oh, no, no thanks. Come on, man, you'll understand how funny it is what you've done it. I guess you don't have to do your ass if you're embarrassed. Why not use your face instead? face but you just put your ass on it you'll get pink eye don't do that Let's see please brian don't do it oh thank god saved out of paper ah well what a pity another time perhaps no come on man you're the only one i can do these things with so so is a wuss and never dares I can't believe we don't have any paper in our offices. Is there some in your briefcase? Mm. Ah, let's tell him that. Now you have to put your face on the photocopier. You have a blank sheet off the floor earlier. That might work. Of course, any paper works. The important thing is to put your head inside the machine against the glass. His ass cheeks, though. Use the mysterious sheet of paper. Save your game with the photocopier. Photocopied soul. Oh, he's got glasses on. Maybe he won't get pink eye. Oh, this sure is shiny. What just happened? Witch paper. <laughs> don't, don't kink shame with your logic. A little pink eye never hurt anyone. <laughs> I don't know, man. 
I ain't kink shaming, it's just uh maybe I am. Witch paper. Well well, I see you know how to take care of yourself, Fersonac. That's it. So then what's my job exactly? Like I said. If you really want to start working already, you can use that old computer next to you. Someone will relay your next tasks. Let's see, how does this old thing turn on? Oh wow, it is old. Look at it. Oh, this doesn't work. Looks like there's no power. Oh, well, that's probably the same effect. I suppose I'll try plugging in this wire. Looks good, but what's in here? Boss, better not bother him. Or her, or them. Could be anyone. Need an ID card to access this machine. ID card? Dude, uh, Hugo, I don't have an ID card. The computer says I need an ID card. Ah, true. Mm. Normally they get sent to the boss's office. I'll see if yours is already there. Uh, uh, um, good, uh, um, uh. hello, Mr. Postonet, is it me? Pleased to meet you, I am your boss. Hugo told me you don't have your ID card. It seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh no, it's fine. Looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You'll have to go to office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D, got it, thank you. Office D. Also, something in his drawer. <gasps> I could get food! Why would Hugo have this here? Don't see anything useful here. Can I mess with the stacks of paper? No. We got one candy bar. Nothing else there. Miss Sosa? Better not bother her. Alright. Uh, oh, what's up with that? Interesting. How oh, do we need D? Just check in here. Let me just um, any more witch paper. Nothing. Nothing interesting here. Is there a bit of paper on the table? What's back there? No, it's nothing. This. These are photos of the employees of the month. Hugo is in all of them. Wow. Thirty credits. We got sixty credits now. And oh, I can run. Oh yes, so good. What's this? Okay, ashtray. D D. Okay. That's disturbing. So far is blocking the door. Maybe I could push it out of the way. It's obviously there for a reason. Oh, that's not good. Wow, it's way too dark in here. Hello? More paint. There's something written on the floor. It's a trap! <laughs> <Dark on. laughs> oh no! It's leaking into everything! Is that blood? No, never mind. 
This isn't funny. Turn on the light. Oh, how do I? Okay. My night is going very well, thank you. I hope you're well too. <laughs> what? Oh no. <laughs> Why can't I see? Okay, there we go. Oh, I can move the chair around. Why are they tied up in a chair? What the f Wait, Are you okay? Do you know where the exit is? Bro, why are you asking him for the exit? He can't speak! Oh my goodness, he's tied to the chair! What happened here? I left that the second thing you know! I'm gonna try untying you. Must be tired at the back. Perception check. So, yeah. Oh yes. Don't budge. Hey, I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but, but perhaps between the two of us we can find a way out of here. Oh cool, so we have to take him with him as well as that. Can't push the chair over these wires and they're too tangled to move. This is weird. Cardboard box. It seems pretty sturdy. Got one cardboard box. Empty. Oh, he's got the torch. Okay, let's go. Could we at least, you know, take the rope off his mouth? I'm sure we can do that. Oh, coffee powder, yes. Anything else here? Ooh. Anything useful here? Well, uh. <laughs> Can I use the glass from the broken coffee maker, please? Cardboard box, what? What? Ooh! And a candy bar. Not you when you're hungry, right? But also, I'm just curious can I put the box down here next to this thing? And stand up. The up just open, but it's very high up. I need some help if I want to climb into it. But I have boxes. Okay. Go this way, buddy. Dang it. Oh. There we go. Just ever so slightly. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, too late now. Wait, is that a mouth? I can't do anything. Okay. All these stacked cabinets look like they could fall over at any time. 
Well, um, shit. That's awkward. Ah, it was underneath. Oh dear, now I can't see. Another slice of bread. Oh, what does that say? Help me. Help me. Oh, uh, 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 oh shit. Nothing interesting here. Looks rather interesting. Dude. Failing all his perception checks. 20 credits. You just robbed a dead guy. Take it easy, I'm sure there's got to be a way out in the back. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be a horror game. Definitely supposed to be a horror game. This lad doesn't even know what his job is yet. But also, I guess the real horror is just, you know, working in a corporation. Run! I think we're going in the wrong direction and that's why this dude is freaking out. Something written on the wall. Run, hold left shift. I already figured that out, game. Too smart. Run! <laughs> oh, this poor guy. He's just getting smashed with the thing. <laughs> Oh no, did the office chair guy not make it? What was that? I have to get out of here as soon as possible. But I don't have a light. Yee! Poor office chair guy. Oh no, inventory, box. Use. We oui. Oh, I still didn't get my ID card. Ah, oh, man. My goodness, what was that? What's going on at this company? Hey, you. <laughs> she ran. <laughs> Where is my ID? And that poor guy is dead now. We were supposed to help him. Elsa. Please, we need to call for help. Boss. Boss? Average corporate hellscape, yes. You want me to go to the boss's room? Oh, the door's open. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that does not look good. Hello? Oh, you are the boss? Hugo! What's up? You look like you've just seen a ghost. A monster? There's a monster in the office! A what? I went to Office D and it was, I don't know, a nightmare. I think I understand. That monster? You think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in his office. No, 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 what happened in there isn't normal. There's a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the walls. We've got to tell someone. Oh man, I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. Ah, don't tease me, face the neck. And besides, why'd you go into that office anyway? We blocked it up with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. Well, the boss called me and told me I'd find my ID card there. Huh? Your ID card's right here on the table. 
Always left here. What? But what he? His office is a total mess. And what are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, did I not tell you? There aren't any bosses at this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. What do you mean by left? The last boss locked himself up in this office for years until one day he just ran away. Who knows why? Stress, perhaps. Wait, but if there's no boss... Who called me? Just some joker, I suppose. <laughs> oh. Stop worrying about it. It'd be best if you took your ID card and started work as soon as possible. Oh, did I say work? Well, don't try to do too much. Didn't want to go crazy like that, Mom. It was me. <laughs> but who was phone? Got your ID card. Built what? Can I? Look. Central ID card and central network. I'm a hundred bucks. Cool. Oh, I lost some HP. Right. Oop. I can't look at anything else in here. My god, you got a slice of chicken. Mmm, that's questionable. But I can make a toasted sandwich now. Ooh, and how long has this finely aged bin cheese? Yeah! <laughs> I don't see anything useful here. Nothing interesting. No. Free cheese, I suppose. No. Free cheese is free cheese, can't knock it. Free cheese is delicious cheese. Well then, I guess we'll get back to work. I've never used one of these machines before. Ah, he's from way out in the suburb. He just immediately got pole vaulted up to class A from class G. What? Whoa. Where are you? What is this place? Carlos Principal statue. this nightmare. Oppa. Classic. Access internet. Mr. Pestinet. <laughs> Sound effect. <laughs> Welcome to Syndrical. Are you going to kill me? Remain calm. I will not hurt you. What is all of this? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cintra. I am in charge of guiding you through your new job. It is, isn't it? It's is a very adorable robot. Okay, but what's this green world? A second ago I was in the office. You are connected to Sintranet, our corporate interface. Here you can track your tasks, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. Point of interest, you just received your first message. 
If you wish, you can read it by activating it. Welcome to Central Court, Mr. Persinek. I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. You sent this message to me, right? Correct. If you are agreeable, I will proceed to explain the responsibilities your occupation entails. Yes, please. We don't actually know yet. You thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier, correct? I mean... Oh, well, actually, it was so long and there were a lot of unfamiliar words. I kind of got lost. Do not worry, I will pass the information from it myself. According to the pre-established norms of the this <laughs> she's literally just rereading it. Of course, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp. Accepting the stimulate stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within the document indefinitely until the termination of contract. The contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or as a request of the trade union association. Acceptance of this contract entails total partial waiver of privileges, allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as dictated by Resolution 1138. That's exactly what he read. Excuse me. Did you just tell me my responsibilities directly? Of course. The focus of your work at Centricorp is on a single goal. Exterminate the creature called Witch. <laughs> what? Exterminate the creature called... Yes, I heard you. But I have to kill a witch? That's a joke, right? You've been hired as a witch hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, Sammy, Dad went out on a hunt and he hasn't come back yet. Okay, okay, look, I'm not sure what's going on at this company, but I don't think I want to hunt anyone. A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I don't want to know. It's definitely been some sort of mistake. This icon marks your first task. Locate Hexen Hammer. How do I get out of here? Please, Mr. Pasternak, allow me to finish my explanation and I will show you the way out. Fine. Thank you. Due to a lack of information regarding the witch, your first task will be to locate Hexen Hammer. Witchcraft treaty written in the 15th century that describes how to identify, hunt, and execute these unique creatures. I mean, we're talking about witches, right? Witches. Centricorp has acquired a copy of the Hexen Hammer, but the location of the book is currently unknown. According to our most recent records, the book should be somewhere within the company's library on the seventh floor. It is recommended that you begin your search there. Okay, are you done? I must also inform you that, for retrieving the book, we will provide you with a bonus of 1,000 credits. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Hey, Citra! Look, thank you very much for the offer and all that, but hunting witches isn't my thing. I came here thinking this would be a normal job, but it's getting more and more bizarre by the limit. Maybe it'd be best if you found someone else to take my place. I'm sorry to hear you say that. You're free to leave at any time if you would like to disconnect from the system. Please activate the output icon. I hope you'll reconsider our offer. I will be here whenever you need me. Dude, you already signed the contract. What are you gonna do? Before you leave, I have one last important warning to give you. Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose to anyone your status as a witch hunter or its related responsibilities. In the eyes of your partners, your work will consist of consulting on systems and databases. Well, in the interest of your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal the secret. Gethunther.
I have one in my inventory, don't I? Oh, I don't really need a coffee right now. Let's not waste it. But, oh, she's working. Hey, have you already connected to the system? Some outdated software, but it should be all right for the basic stuff. Did you find out what your responsibilities are? Yeah, well, it looks like some assorted chores, if you can call killing a chore. Uh, kill? You have to kill somebody? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Kill time. Ah, uh, I see that you've got the hang of it now. You're already thinking about lazing around, aren't you? Yes, well, actually, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this job. Oh, why not? You're in the big city. Everything's so much faster and just different. I was thinking I might be better off going back to the suburbs. It takes a little time to get used to it, man. Don't worry. And we can always give you a hand if you need it. Look, if you're really feeling stressed, go relax in the canteen on the first floor. Have a snack. Chill for a while. Take it easy. It's your first day. Yeah, I've got enough to make a sandwich now. I might do that. Excuse me, man. Hello? Hello? No, she doesn't want to talk to me. Alright, let's go to the cafeteria for a minute. Man. Oh, washroom. <laughs> Someone looking at memes on their phone in the toilet. Yeah, look, there's someone in that one. Door is stuck, it won't open. Bro! Sorry! Do you want a cup of my water? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do, <laughs> Do I want a cup of his water? <laughs> No, no thanks. I don't know if anyone's cleaned this building for years. Maybe I should just take it. Go on. Excuse me. Yes, okay, but it's just regular water, right? <laughs> Got one cup of questionable water. That's so sus. Let me wash my hands after that. No, I can't wash my hands. Alright then. <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am? Hello? Okay. Well, let's go to the cafeteria. Oh, a new person. Hello. Hi, my name is Bastanek. Bastanek, do you usually cry in the shower? What? Not really, no. I do it all the time. Oh, well, I'm sorry. My name is Malone. Nice to meet you. Do you live alone? Ah, uh, no, I live with my parents. Well, I was. I have to get an apartment in the capital now. Delicious. The coffee? No. Okay, well, see you later. He's still eating his invisible, um, what do you call it? Cereal? Alright, then, well. Should I make a cheese sandwich? Yes. Yeah, and cheese sandwich. Oh man. 
Yeah, I'm putting cheese on the shopping list this week. It's been a while. Uh -uh. Cool. What other things can I make? Interesting. Alrighty. I'm gonna take a quick potty break. Grab a snack as well, because I am kinda hungry now. <laughs> and I will be back in a quick jiffy. Just hold on tight. <laughs> 